pa pa. The Union Pacific Big Boy, Faosatu 88004, is widely considered one of the most iconic and powerful steam locomotives ever built. Designed during a time when railroads were the backbone of American transportation and industry, this massive machine wasn't just about raw power. It was an engineering marvel that represented the peak of steam locomotive design. In this review, we'll explore what makes the big boy so special. From its specifications and history, to its operation and enduring legacy. Let's begin with its origin. The big boy was designed by Union Pacific and built by the American Locomotive Company, commonly known as ALCO, between 1941 and 1944. A total of 25 units were produced. The reason for its creation was straightforward. Union Pacific needed a locomotive capable of hauling extremely heavy freight trains over the challenging terrain of the Wasatch Mountains in Utah and Wyoming, without the need for additional helper. Engines. The big boy's configuration, 4884, refers to its wheel arrangement. Four leading wheels, two sets of eight driving wheels, and four trailing wheels. This articulated design allowed it to distribute its massive weight more evenly and navigate curves more easily despite its enormous size. Each big boy measured over 132 feet in length and weighed approximately 1.2 million pounds when fully loaded, with fuel and water, making it the heaviest operational steam locomotive in the world. Power is where the big boy truly shines. It was powered by a massive boiler producing steam at 300 PSI, feeding a set of four huge cylinders. The locomotive generated 6,290 horsepower, an attractive effort of over 135,000 pounds. That kind of force allowed the big boy to haul freight. Trains exceeding 3,600 tons over mountain grades without assistance. Despite its bulk, it could reach speeds up to 80 miles per hour, an impressive feat for a freight locomotive of its time. From a mechanical standpoint, the big boy was complex, but remarkably efficient. It used simple expansion instead of compound expansion, which made it easier to maintain and operate. The massive firebox was big enough to hold a grown man standing upright, and it consumed over 12 tons of coal and 25,000 gallons of water on a typical long run. The tender alone was nearly the size of a modern rail car, with capacity for both coal and water to keep the big boy moving across vast distances. The cab of the big boy is another fascinating element. Designed for practicality, it featured dual controls, a variety of pressure and temperature gauges, and throttle levers within easy